USB-C was supposed to make everything easier, but definitely didn't do that. Now, USB-C has been fantastic and horrible at the same time. And although USB-C is just a connector, it's a connector that's used by a variety of different protocols. And while having one type of connector is convenient, it's far from simple because you can have a variety of different types of cables that use the same connector. We have USB 3.1, we have USB 3.0, we have Thunderbolt, and we even have USB-C cables that utilize USB 2.0, but support higher wattage of charging. Now, if anything, this has made purchasing cables a little bit trickier than we originally anticipated, especially if you are outside of the nerdy tech sphere that most of us kind of live in. Now, this year, we even saw the USB consortium add an extra level of complexity to this with support for 240 watts over the USB-C connector along with support for 8K video transmission. Now, this might be utilizing the Thunderbolt protocol, but the connector that's being used is still USB-C. Now, talking about data transfer speeds, talking about maximum wattage over a connector, all of these things can become extremely confusing, and that's the reason why I decided to take Driver Genius up on the opportunity to do a sponsored video on my channel and share with you guys a cable from them that supports all of the newest protocols that have been adopted this year. This cable from Driver Genius is really the one size fits all. Now, it's not cheap, but this cable is going to last you until the USB power consortium or the USB consortium changes that stuff. Now, taking a look at these cables from Driver Genius, these things are chonkers. They're definitely bigger than the 100 watt USB C power delivery cables I have from Ugreen, and they're definitely bigger than the Thunderbolt cables I have from AceFast. Now, this is because these cables support 240 watts over USB C power delivery, the newest USB C power delivery protocol. They also support 8K at 60 Hertz or two streams of 4K at 60 Hertz, along with five gigabit per second data connection. Now, if you look at these cables in a vacuum, yes, they are more expensive than prior generation USB-C cables or prior generation Thunderbolt cables that support uh, the 100 watt USB-C power delivery protocol and support the 4K video, et cetera, protocol that we have. This is because these cables are essentially future-proof and you can buy them now. You can take advantage of all of the benefits that we were promised originally with USB-C being simpler, being a quality of life improvement, and just being a better overall connector compared to the prior generations that we had of Thunderbolt or USB-A. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the last like USB-C power delivery protocol, the last USB-C consortium decision with this was something like eight years ago, and they just changed that. So if you go ahead and pick up these cables now, you can expect that they're gonna have a usable service lifespan of anywhere from five to seven years, just like the last uh, power delivery protocol, the last protocol from the USB-C power delivery consortium, whatever you would call it, uh, lasted us eight years. So while these cables might be a little bit more expensive in a nutshell, the fact that you can use this one cable for everything and you don't have the complexity that comes with getting a 100 watt cable that's USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 cables that might not support 100 watts. These cables support everything. They're simpler and they're future proof. And I'll have links down in the description down below. Okay, peace.